What's up, guys? So the mayor of Anchorage, Dave Bronson, is under investigation for corruption um, and for intimidating people that were filing reports with the ombudsman office. Um, and the ombudsman did an interview on KTUU, um, and it's a big ordeal. And and this was after the former city manager, Amy Demboski. Uh, posted some pretty serious allegations uh, that Mayor Bronson was participating in some corrupt actions. Um, so what does this mean? This means the ombudsman has referred it to the DA and to the municipal attorney. And it seems like the municipal attorney most likely will not be supporting Bronson. Um, again, Bronson, you know, he presided over the disastrous homeless camp in Centennial Park over in Muldoon, um, on the east side of Anchorage, where there were several instances of police brutality. Uh, um, he took the money that the voters of Anchorage, uh, voted for, for body cams, for the cops and he diverted that to uh, more military style gear for the cops um, and overall you know it's it's been a shit show um, and so the ombudsman oh and Bronson hasn't uh, it took him so long to plow the sidewalks uh, and for a while I was walking through like eight foot snow drifts like no kidding like big ass snow drifts so that being said, I'm no fan of Bronson. Bronson, I believe, should be prosecuted and for corruption, negligence, and violating the Americans with Disabilities Act. Um, the sidewalks are still icy. Old Seward is not shoveled. So if you go up there, you're on the 85 bus, you have to climb. And once you get off the 85 bus, you have to climb over all these snow drifts uh, to get where you need to go. But yeah, Bronson's corruption and incompetence um open him up for investigation and i believe that bronson um will be prosecuted for corruption so yeah and let's be honest daryl hess he's got a mixed record when it comes to mayoral, mayoral corruption he's on his game but when it comes to right-wing Protestant cults that were infiltrating the schools back like 10 years ago when I was in high school, he turned a blind eye and it took us a long time for us to get Young Life kicked out of the school district. And this was back when I was in high school at South High and at Diamond High. Um, and so that being said, uh, Daryl Hess has a mixed record, right? And I believe when... Uh, there is a more left-wing mayor, if there is ever a socialist or communist mayor. Daryl Hess, who is a Mormon sympathizer and a Zionist, um, will have to be relieved of his duties and or prosecuted for uh, promoting Zionist propaganda and for the normalization of Mormonism. Um, and obviously, West Anchorage has a Zionist problem. South Anchorage has a Mormon problem. Um you know, so, yeah. So that's that's my take on the situation. While Daryl Hess is not the most trustworthy person, he's a lot more trustworthy than Bronson. And the fact that Chris Constant and uh, Daniel Foland and uh Cameron Veredia are putting pressure on him and that Felix Rivera Felix Rivera is putting pressure on him you know that's that's a good sign that they're putting the pressure on the ombudsman you know and inshallah they have they remove they remove Dave Bronson and eventually if I were ever to be elected mayor there would be a new ombudsman Oh, and Daryl Hess violates the leash law and brags about it on social media. He brags about violating the leash law on social media as well. So he has off-leash dogs and he brags about it on social media. 
So yeah, that's why Daryl Hess, while he's not the most trustworthy, that's why I have a mixed opinion on Daryl Hess, but I think it's good that he's investigating uh, Dave Bronson. So there you go.